Hello everyone. <laughs> it is currently 2.11 a.m. Had a little get together at our house. There was about 15 people here or so. Uh, including a guest that I invited tonight, which is this girl that saw me at some party and thought I was cute and then wanted to hook up with me. Then we tried and then, you know, my dick didn't get hard. I think I might have chronicled this in an earlier episode. But today she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, we're having people over. If you want, you could come. And then she came and it's fine. I was, you know, doing my own little music thing. And then, you know, we eventually go back to my room. And, um, kind of happened again. I, I don't get hard again. I, I couldn't do it. And, um, yeah. But, you know, we're chilling. I was still able to provide some pleasure to her. But, <clears throat> and then later, ended up going up, going all the way, just happened to, I don't know, just the mood struck right, I guess, this time. And then she stayed for a while, and then she left. But what's important <clears throat> is just, like, about how the whole situation makes me feel. Something is not right here. <clears throat> I feel like a serial killer. Not that I have bloodless towards people, but that I'm just... I'm inauthentic. With her, I mean. You know, I'm almost like playing a character of... You know, this this person who... She just, I don't even know. Maybe I do it with a lot of girls. I just know that it's, it's kind of fucked. I don't feel like myself when I talk to her. Sometimes, you know, shines through, but just find myself, I don't know. I think it probably happens with a lot of the girls that I'm with. It's really common for them to just ask me what I'm thinking about and for me to give them a less than completely honest answer because what I'm thinking about is something I don't want to share with them like how I want them to leave Ugh. it makes me disgusted to witness my own thoughts when I'm in a situation like that and She wants to see me again. She said, another night, baby? And I was like, sure. And tonight we actually talked more, got to know each other a little bit. But, um, uh, like I said, I don't feel much like myself. And I, I don't know, I think she likes me. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird to say, considering what's already happened, but I think she likes me and I don't like her. I don't even really like the sex. Not that with her it's bad, but it's just like, it doesn't make me feel good. And yet, you know, there I was. So I guess we'll see how this unfolds, but I mean, it's tricky because I feel like I'm at a crossroads. It's like, I could go down this path, just like hooking up with people, you know, I'm a good looking guy girls like me and I'm sure that this will not be the last opportunity I have for some easy sex 
and it's like I I could take those I guess but it's like even my body's telling me like something's not right I mean I wasn't even drunk this time just wasn't really feeling it and I feel bad for her because she actually seems cool she seems like a cool person that I wouldn't mind being friends with, but <sighs> I've never found success with relationships that are just so physical to begin with. I don't think it's a strong foundation. And yeah, I mentioned earlier, I feel like a serial killer. Like in my thoughts, in my expression. I keep it blank. I don't want to let anybody in. Nobody's allowed to know what I'm thinking except for me. My mom pointed out, I'm hard to read sometimes. Even out of this camera, I might be. You know, I've been keeping a pretty straight face and tone. But, I mean, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to use women for sex. I don't want to play women. It doesn't make me feel good. And I think it just starts with me being willing to say no. Just say yes to everything. Partly because I'm a yes man, partly because I'm just excited to do stuff. I usually like to just, say, you know, try it. anything else to say <sighs> yeah I don't want this person to become too attached and um, I uh, still think about my ex-girlfriend a little bit my most recent one I still have this lighter from her in my backpack. I haven't thrown it away yet. Although I probably should because there are some risky pictures of her in there. Although I haven't looked at them since we broke up. It's just kind of been sitting in my backpack and I haven't thrown it away. At least I'm getting better at guitar.